Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer. In this video, we are gonna learn about how we can add page views to our navigation rail and how we can animate to different pages using the navigation rail destination. So let's quickly start this. The Growing Developer. We have a row. Inside this row, as a children, we'll pass the navigation rail first and then it would be an expanded widget now why i'm using a row is that navigation rail by default or it is recommended by the material design that navigation rail should be aligned either to the left of the screen or to the right of the screen so that's why i'll be using the row it is always in the vertical axis so as a child to this expanded i'll just use a container right now now two parameters are required in this navigation rail. First is destinations and second is uh, selected index. Right, so let's start. And for us, let's quickly write the destination. Destination is a list of navigation rail destinations. Right, now we have three parameters here, icon, label and selected icon. So we'll use only two of them. That is first one is the icon. So it will be icon i can start home right and for the label it would be a text widget saying home right now we'll make three of them first one would be home second one would be a call and third one would be i guess info so similarly it would be icons.phone and the third one would be icons.help. So next thing is the selected index. So right now let's give it a selected index of zero. Let's save it. And you can see that we have a navigation rail going on with us. We have these three uh, navigation rail destinations and this is the scaffold right now is occupied with this container let's give some uh, color to the navigation rail you can always watch the navigation rail video it's in the info section here so you can always watch the video that i made to get a better idea of all the parameters it has so for the color it has a background color property i'll give it a background color of blue and the selected icon theme so when that icon is selected, it takes up icon theme data and inside this color, I'll write color start white. Makes sense, right? You can always play with these colors. So if you want to change the color, I can change it to green or any color you want, right? So I'll rather stick with a dark shade of green maybe. No. Blue is fine, I guess. Now you can see that whenever I tap on any other navigation rail destination, uh, it says that method call was called on null. We have to declare a callback in this. So it is on destination selected that whenever this destination gets selected, we get a new index. We get a new index by default. Uh, so selected index is right now zero. So whenever this new uh, navigation rail destination is selected, this selected index must change. So we'll write selected index equals to the new index. Now this selected index has to be made. So we'll quickly uh, declare a variable int selected index and give it a value of zero by default. We'll replace this selected index to this. Right? Make sense? Now let's restart this application and see if it works or not. If I press on this destination, uh, nothing is getting happened. Why? Because I have not created a set state. So we have to write this in set state. That is, I want it to be updated. Now let's see. There you go. You can see now we can see the changes happening. Whenever you face this kind of problem, always see that if you if you have updated the values in set state, because by using the set state, you are uh, rebuilding the UI, right? So next thing is how we can manage this uh, index with the page view. In this position, we need to declare a page view. So instead of this container, I'll write page view. Now it takes up our children. Inside this children, I'll use containers. You can always use any n number of screens you want. So for this, first color would be 
black for me or other gray darkest shade of gray and let's copy it three times because we have three destinations now for the second one it would be an indigo color and third one would be a blue color it's totally for demonstration purposes don't judge me on these and uh, let's save it and you can see that we have this area covered with the page view now one problem is uh, now we have one problem that this page view by default gets scrolled to the horizontal axis we want to change it to be able to scroll in the vertical axis so for that we have the value of scroll direction we'll change it to axis dot vertical by default it is the horizontal axis so let's restart this application once again and let's see if it works and there you go you can see that this page is getting worked so now we want we don't want to scroll this we want to change these screens on the navigation rail selections right so for that we need to declare a page controller because using that page controller only we can uh, control on we can have the control over these pages so we'll write page controller wait a minute page controller page controller equals to page controller and inside this we have initial page uh, well let's leave it like this and inside this we'll write page controller we'll set the controller value as page controller yeah that's it now let's restart this uh, let's restart the application so that we can see if everything is working fine and you can see that everything is working fine but we want to change these pages according to uh, the selection of these navigation rails so for that along with the selector index being changed we will write unchanged page controller dot animate to page animate to page means that which page you want to be animated so here we'll write new index right now the duration would be duration and milliseconds right now i'll give it at 50 milliseconds it's totally your wish now this is the curve that is what kind of animation you want to have when you scroll between the pages so it will be curves dot and you can select everything so i'll write easy now it is just for demonstration purpose you can always see and play with the different curves and let's restart this application once again and see if it works or not okay so it's the deciding thing now if i press on this you can see that i'm getting scrolled to a new page if you press on this that's it so you can see that we have implemented the page view with the navigation rail as well now in these containers instead of these containers you can always use n number of um, i can say n number of screens or your pages so instead of this icon this placement okay one thing that i forgot in my previous navigation rail video is that you can always change the alignment of these icons so for that in your navigation rail you can see we have the group alignment now we have three uh, values for this group alignment minus one zero and one minus one is the stop value zero is the center value and one is the bottom value so i'll show you everything if i give it minus one it stayed there wherever it is if i give it a value of zero it comes in the center if i give it a value of one it comes to the bottom so it's totally your wish how you want them to be aligned right and so play with the navigation rail and add something in on linkedin many of the users have uh, mentioned me and they have played with the navigation rail that was very cool so go ahead and mention me in your stories or your insta any of your social platforms i'll feature them on my page as well so that's it for today's video hope you learned something from this video so that's all for this video hope you like this video hope you learned something from this video 
thank you so much for watching please like this video and share with your friends and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel the growing developer and help others grow as well thank you so much goodbye have a nice day